here's what we're going to do. We're going to read, I'm going to read the material, and then I'm going to ask you to think in terms of what would the actor, what did the writer have in mind, any thoughts that you have. I'm going to open it up to everybody. This is the way you attack material. Any time you get a piece of material, you start looking at it and start doing subtext analysis, breaking it down. What does the character want? How is the character going to get it? What stops the character from getting it? Okay. Before I do that, let me just talk to you a little bit about this formula that I have. This will help in our text analysis and then help in all the other stuff that we do. Okay, this is a formula that I've come up with over the years in attacking material. And if you put this on the top of your, any material that you get, it'll be a nice reminder for you of whether, you, it's like a checklist of whether you're making the choices that you need to make. So, hope. I came up with hope because we hope we get the part. We hope we don't suck in the audition. We hope people love us. We hope we, we uh, our agents, we hope uh, want us still. We hope we do well. We hope that we don't fall on our face, OK? So, and I added the F because I needed to. There's no word hope if I made it. OK, so the H stands for hot choices, which is what we're going to do on every piece, every line that we're doing here. By hot choices, we're going to make hot choices for who we're talking to. Does everybody know what a substitution is? Anybody not know what a substitution is? OK, substitution. Um, in this particular scene, Mickey Rourke is talking to a girl he went to high school with who's married to his uh, best friend and uh, who he slept with in high school. Now, he may meet the actress for the first time on the set to start working. They don't know each other. So what you need to do is put a substitution in of somebody that really sparks you, somebody that you remember having an experience with, somebody that makes you feel like, oh my god, I'm really attracted to this person, or I have a history with them, or they're married to a close friend of mine and they would be taboo. Hot choice. So if you put your best friend's real life girlfriend or ma uh, best friend's uh, wife into the scene, Instead of just working with the woman that you're working with, it's a hot choice for your substitution. And you need to do substitution work for everything that everybody you're talking to in a scene and for everything that you're talking about. So we make substitutions. Okay? That's where your hot choices come in. Obstacle. Who thinks they know what an obstacle is? Oh, I do. <laughs> OK, an obstacle is what stops you from getting what you want in the scene. OK, scenes break down to love or power. So you either want love in the scene that you're doing, or you want power from the person you're talking to. So you want, if it's a, a guy-girl scene, most of the time it's going to be a love scene. Most of the time. There are absolute exceptions, and we will point them out. But it's a love scene if it's people that know each other and uh, family people, people that have had relationships before. So obviously, when we look at this scene, this is going to be a love scene because, as I said, it's between Mickey Rourke and the woman that he knew from high school who's married to his friend. So it's a love scene. A weird love scene, but we'll get into it when we do. So the obstacle is what stops you from getting love in the scene? That could go back to your substitution. So if you make a substitution of somebody that you can easily get love, to, love from, there's no obstacle. But if you put in something that has an automatic obstacle in it in your head, all of a sudden you have to make other choices to make it work. Your choices is where your talent lies. So even as a beginning actor, you need to make choices when you pick up material. Okay? And again, don't worry about being right or wrong. Worry about making choices.